Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate you how we can send defect updates from ServiceNow to Jiva. Uh, let's assume we have an integration between Jiva's defect module like production defect and ServiceNow's defect module which is part of Agile uh, and then the defect is created and we need to send some updates from ServiceNow to Jiva. More of a bi-directional sync. Uh, something comes from Jiva to ServiceNow when it is updated and when those fields are updated in service now we need to send them back to Jira as well. So let's create a flow uh, because we have several actions available as part of the Jira spoke application and we'll try to use those actions. So I'm giving it a name send defect updates and let's see additional properties I'm going to run it as system user Let's try to build the flow. So the defect flow would be more like created or updated. And I'm going to select the defect table. I am underscore defect. And I need to give one condition that says External ID is not empty. So I'm using a, a field called external ID which stores the ID of Jiva's defect and that field should not be empty if I am sending something to Jiva. So let's make it for every unique change. I think the best would be for every update. And I want to run this only for user interactive session because let's say uh, Jira ticket was updated uh, by a user uh, for short description or maybe for description. Now that information came to service now and basically they both were synced. Now I don't want to trigger my flow based on the update that came from Jira because the update that came from Jira mostly would be a non-interactive session. So I want to run this flow only for interactive session. Now, done. So, and we have a field called update. issue and I can simply pull the external ID into the issue ID and then I need to provide the fields which I have to update in Jira. Now the problem is I cannot simply select the fields directly over here that this is how it works so to be able to populate the fields over here i need to use a different spoke called utility actions spoke which has some of the actions available and that can be used over here so i have already installed the utility actions spoke in my instance and i'm going to use a functionality called encoded query so within this encoded query I need to pass the fields which I need to update for example I need to update the short description so short description is known as summary in Jira and the value would be the short description of service now And let's say I also want to update the description. Let's find the description from the defect record. Okay, now I have my encoded query and I can simply pass that encoded query uh, in this additional fields. 
so this is how i can uh, simply send my updates to jira the only thing that i need to do here is uh, for additional uh, steps that i would say uh, i can simply add let's say this encoded query fails i can simply add if else condition and post the error in the defect itself work notes and if there's an error in the update issue i can also post that within my uh, defect in the work notes itself so let's try how this works by saving and activating this flow okay so i have activated the flow and i have also added the steps just to save time in the back end i have added all the steps which i was referring to uh, basically adding notes when there's a failure and so on so if there's an error in the encoded query i am adding that error message to the defect record in the work notes and if there's an error in the update issue action i'm again adding that error message in the defect record so let's see how this works i have already created a defect in the instance and this is the same defect in jira here test underscore demo one so let's try to update the short description and description in service now and let's see if it cascades the same value to the jira production defect as well or not so you can see uh short description is updated and let's see if the description was updated yes test underscore deac underscore demo let's do one more quick test let's make it demo two now i'm back to jira so the value is now updated to two thank you so much